All right, today I'm going to show you the prototype of the Neo Geo Pocket linker, USB linker. So you can see the cartridge slot that uh, is hand cut. The games just pop right in. I'd say they work pretty good. There's the mini USB connector to hook up to the computer. You can see this is, like I said, is prototype. The pins are a lot longer than they need to be, um, but that's all right. I mean, I'll show you how it works here. You just plug it in, USB. You can hear it popping up, and we'll use Pocket Linker slash I to get some information about the cart. Detected Fossilize, is a 16 megabit cartridge. We can see what blocks are protected and unprotected. Um, what else can we do? Forget. Um, we can back it up. We can store, back up, or restore a save game. Um, we can dump the whole cartridge. That takes about a minute or so. Not a whole lot else we can do that's too interesting. We'll back up the save game file. It automatically creates a name, um, backs it up. Goes go, what it does is goes through all the unprotected sectors and backs those up because those are the writable sectors that the game could write to. And then it creates a NGF file, which is uh, what Neopop or Race emulators could use. So there you have it, that's about it. We can pop a game off of it, pop a new one on. So now it detects a 32 meg megabit cartridge, metal slug. Um, the only other one I have here is a Japanese card fighters. Text card fighter. Let's see. Can I add dash slash P on there and shows us all the unprotected and protected blocks. So there it is. You can see like I said, pins are kinda long on the prototype. Um, but it all seems to work. That's the important part.